permissiveness with children. I mean, that used to be a thing. You know, some stuff that children say now would have had you murdered by grandmothers and grandfathers years ago. They would have killed you and dared you to call anybody. You, you wouldn't be able to make it to the phone. It's amazing, in our society today, the, the desensitization to violence. And so now you have individuals that, that can go out and do heinous crimes because they've been desensitized by looking at so much violence. You know, when the people go to see a great movie nowadays, it has to have at least three elements. Sex, violence, and profanity. And those three things, that they, they make a blockbuster. If you've got enough violence in it, enough sex in it, and enough profanity in it, it's a blockbuster. You, you can barely see, you can't even see a, uh, they're cussing in the, in the G-rated movies now. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how the respect even for elders in our society has so declined? They showed a young man the other day that, that just roughed up an old man on the train, just pushed him off the train, just made him, just pushed him off. No respect. Years ago, you'd never do that to an, an older person. It didn't have to be your granddaddy or your uncle or your daddy. It's just that he was an elder. You were just taught to say, yes, ma'am, and no, sir. We, we had respect in our community for people that had gray hair, you know. You, you respected your elders. That, that, that was a, that's a biblical principle. That's a biblical principle. Uh, how our society has so deteriorated in its morality. You don't have to go to, you know, sleazy kind of sex shops anymore to get pornography. You can access it from your cell phone. And because it's easily accessible, and not only that, people are creating their own pornography and publishing. It's called sexting. And they take pictures and then send it to their so-called boyfriend. And, and let me tell you, young ladies, you send that picture to a boy, and, and if you look like anything, he's going to show it to somebody. <laughs> so now, if you don't want to involuntarily be in the porn industry, Isn't it amazing how in our society, values toward the sanctity of marriage have so declined that our divorce rates are skyrocketing among Christian people? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But let me say this to you. Righteousness is not that which is legislated by man, but that which is mandated by God. I'm going to say that again. Righteousness is not that which is legislated by man, but that which is mandated by God. God mandates righteousness.